Hey guys, it's Just from Mad and Crafts, and today we're going to make some magical potion bottles for Halloween. You may have seen similar bottles before on the internet, but we're going to make them on the cheap using supplies from the dollar store. I found these glass bottles with cork stoppers in the glassware section of my local dollar store. You don't need this exact bottle, but it does have to have a stopper with it. I found the rubbing alcohol in the health and beauty aisle. It doesn't matter what concentration of rubbing alcohol that you buy, whether it's 50 or 70 or 90, they'll all work. What you want to do is fill up that glass bottle about 90% of the way. Leave a little bit of room up at the neck of the bottle, but fill the rest up with rubbing alcohol. Make sure you pick up a package of markers or highlighters at the dollar store as well. If you already have some at home, that's even better. What you need to do is to open up that marker to get to the ink cartridge which is inside. Sometimes it's really easy like this highlighter. Sometimes you actually have to break the highlighter in half in order to get to it. Once you have the cartridge out, you can discard the rest of the highlighter. Carefully dunk one end of the cartridge into your rubbing alcohol in the bottle and then slowly squeeze the ink down into the bottle. You can add as much of the highlighter ink as you'd like in order to achieve the color that you want your potion to initially be. Make sure to wear gloves if you are concerned about getting the highlighter ink on your fingers because you definitely are going to get some. Once you've added the ink into the rubbing alcohol, replace the stopper into the top of the bottle and give it a good shake. Then you can determine whether you want to add more ink to make it an even more opaque color. Now it's time to add the magic to your potion bottles. I found these small containers of loose pigment in the makeup aisle of the dollar store. Just remove the little brush that comes inside, replace the cap, and then turn the container upside down to shake that loose pigment into the cap of the container. Once you have a good amount of the makeup pigment in the lid of the container, you can go ahead and pour that into your bottle. Because the pigment is heavier than the rubbing alcohol inside of the bottle, it will naturally sink to the bottom, which is what we want to have happen to give the magical effect that you'll see later. I bought my makeup at the dollar store just to show you that you can get the supplies for this project very cheaply at the dollar store. But if you already have some makeup in your house that you don't wear anymore or that's maybe expired, go ahead and use that and then you don't have to pay anything. At this point, you can top off your bottle with a little bit more rubbing alcohol, and then you will want to replace the stopper and give the whole mixture a really good shake. When you shake the bottle, those makeup pigments will disperse in the liquid and give it a magical color shifting appearance. If you're not seeing the magical swirls that you want to, you can add some more of the makeup pigment in order to add some more of that color change and the swirling effect. I printed out some potion labels on craft sticker paper and distressed the edges with a black ink pad. I will link to some places where you can download free Halloween potion labels below. To make sure the bottles don't leak when you shake and swirl them, it's a good idea to seal them up with some hot glue. I had some black hot glue in my craft stash but you can use regular hot glue and leave it as is, or you can paint it black. I really like the look of these drips down the side. It makes it look extra spooky and magical. For this bottle, I used a darker pink highlighter and some purple loose pigment. So you can see when I shake it, it really does give you that cool, magical color changing effect. The greater the contrast between the marker color and the pigment color, the better you're going to get that magical effect. There's a little bit less of the color changing effect in this third bottle because I used quite a bit of highlighter ink. I used two highlighters instead of one, and then I used a gold pigment. So there's not as much contrast between the color of the highlighter and the pigment itself, but it still gives you those magical shimmering swirls. Because the supplies for this project are so inexpensive, you can do some experimenting to find out which color combinations you like the best. 
These bottles are a really fun interactive decoration to have out at your Halloween party. Let your guests swirl and combine the magical color changing potions and then watch them as they change back to their original color over the course of the party. Anytime you need a little extra magic, just shake those bottles up again. If you try making your own potion bottles, please let me know by tagging me, Madden Crafts, on social media. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Visit me on my blog, maddencrafts.com, and thanks so much for watching. Bye!